Hello and welcome to Let's Play Eloquent Princess Blast. Yep. Oh. And I'm here to to support Pear and hopefully I didn't send him a terrible game. Hopefully and actually, he said he said the music's already like really good. The music was good, and the game doesn't crash. Yeah, it's really crash prone. The fear mongers, floating islands, layers, shimmered and changed shape at her approach, becoming a beehive. Oh no, it's a bee. <laughs> Not possible. the bees! I think that's what they call it at this stage, actually. Oh, Beside the top thing he ever did, it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As a massive swarm of flying creatures left a hive to come at her. Don't come <laughs> at me, bro. Come <laughs> at me, bro. <laughs> yeah, come at me, Pren bees. Princess Sanis felt her stomach lurch in a recognition of her earliest phobia. She has a bee phobia? Oh no, she groaned at that. And her eyes becoming dinner plates, not the bees! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's pretty Wave. Bee rape. rape. God damn, no one wants bee rape. I know. No, one, no one asked for the bee in position. So I have not played this before. He has three men. But I mean, I looked at this to make sure I would use one, but besides that. Ow. Right. He play, like, yeah, most he played through, like, the boss stage, kind of, but, you know, that was, like, a quick making sure the game ran, but he didn't, like, play through this, which seems to be more fleshed out. There's actually, like, power-ups and stuff, which is interesting. Oh my god. That's a bad <laughs> And it does, it has, it has a really low-quality background. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna tell you sure why. I mean, I could have made it sharper, but I guess I really wanted you to focus on the bees. I guess so. You had to, you had to make sure that you agreed that not the bees. Yes. But yeah, I like the uh, music, sir. I don't, I, I don't know that's... how to explain it. I just like it. It reminds me of some of the old games. Like, it has a very old... Like, not 8-bit, but more like... Maybe like more like the 16-bit area music. Right, right. Well, I mean, I imagine it's supposed to capture the idea of the arcade music, cause like I said, um, though it actually appears more blood hell than I expected, it was, it's, you know, meant to encompass that idea of, like, uh, Galaga and whatnot. Bees are fucking retarded. I don't know. I certainly don't remember this in Galaga. I'm dead! Damn, this game is a bit... <laughs> Okay, hey, let's do this for a I don't know. Yeah. Where do I see how many lives I have? You see it by your character. Actually, I'm confused. Oh. I don't think you died that because yeah, it's shit it has uh, three right now. How do I use bombs? I'm not sure. I'd assume like space bar or something. Oh, you might have already tried yeah, that. I just used the bomb. I just don't know how I did. Oh. I. I don't know what. Well, I guess there's a delay on the bomb. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So yeah, bombs. That's good. So, um... On, on your thoughts of having played way more bot hells than me, how is the rating so far on on the base of having bot hell type things? It's, it's unorthodox. To me, it's... <laughs> But I haven't played that many bullet heads, I only played one, but normally bullet heads, I was never leave the bottom of the screen. This game seems to for like forcing you to leave the bottom of the screen. Ah, uh, makes sense. I, I guess really that's the way it. that it's more like, yeah, they seem to be. I guess, in fact, that's the way that it's more like Galaga, which is funny, because in that you can't leave the bottom of the screen, but, um, more in the way that, though, like, you're not really dealing with bullets, but everything you're fighting is just kind of trying to kill you with themselves. I just said these beasts are bleeding? But no, I better. Just kind of float all over in every direction. I noticed that. They, that their pattern is, does seem a little ridiculous to try and dodge. Also, your bombs don't see as effective, you know, as they could be. They don't seem very effective at all. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Jesus Christ, this game. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. For, on, for a man. You should have gotten a to do this. 
<laughs> He's good at bullet hells. He's fucking amazing at bullet hells. Oh, you might have told me this before, I'm not entirely certain. But you know. Well. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I I, I guess what think... I will say is the enemies have smaller hitboxes than I never used to. It's actually really difficult. So to, like that guy just couldn't hit him. Yeah. Well, maybe like maybe I just I would have looked at one of the controls, but the problem with the controls were um, probably using showing controller not controllers. And obviously I don't use the controllers because I'm not a controller monkey. I mean, like, I'm mainly not really sure why it was showing controller. Like, I'm, I normally am all for using controller. This just doesn't seem like the kind of game that you really need one. No. I don't know. Logic doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I hate those bees. Like, I think once you die, once you kind of screw it, because then you don't have to follow up anymore. The, yeah, yeah, you don't have the double shot, um, and... Like, I wish there was a better way to fucking blow up these bees. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you know what they say, but not the bees. I think that's a pretty true statement for this stage. I'd prefer it's not the bees as well. At least when he dies, stuff will want you guys to. Yeah, yeah. Ow. I can't remember. Like, that did. <laughs> I'm not sure why, like, it seemed like that ah, came out after on. he died, but that was weird. You like the music? I think he's that one. That's a pretty reasonable statement. Uh... I think you can go, like, any epic music in any game ever. Oh. It's just energetic. Yeah, well that's always good. Seems like the kind of game you'd need an energetic music. Okay, so that was a little better. Yeah. Maybe I can get into this. Maybe I can beat this stage. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can. You can first try it. Yeah, the power... boss fight was so easy, it was kind of silly. Yeah, I know, seriously. I'm, I'm not really sure why. I'm a little confused on the idea of a boss. Maybe they just wanted to show that they had a boss? Yeah, this game starts out incredibly difficult, but it might just be because this is the only stage that they have for something. Yeah, but yeah. But I mean, because normally, like, at least two or whatever, the first stage is not that difficult. Right, right. Um, look at me flapping my wings. <laughs> that, the, that animation's actually pretty good, at least as far as I can tell. Flappy. Well, yeah. That is a flappy bird. Eh, uh, well, it wasn't anything though. Eight. Eight is not better than flappy bird. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, but, you know. How, how many. I'm not a lot of bombs, I'm not entirely sure if I yeah. agree on the reliance on bombs. Because I'm. Like, normally you should. Well, okay, maybe just because of my, like, two or whatever, but normally everything is supposed to be doable without the use of a bomb. Right. Which right. doesn't seem like it's a thing here. Like, this yeah. is more about using the bombs correctly. Yeah, I not see. Not using the bombs at all. Right, right. I do, I do see what you're saying, and, like, um, I, I'm not going to say whether it's wrong or right, because I don't know. I haven't played that many bullet hells, but it, once again, it's one of those things that seems a bit unorthodox, even from the ones I played, because, I mean, I played a uh, bullet hell that. Uh, Castle Shikigami 2, which is, you know, um, pretty directly like to who, uh, in a lot of ways, They're except for the fact though, I haven't died yet. Oh, and yeah, I'm nice. Totally decked out. <laughs> You're pretty decked out. Triple lasers and freaking full hearts. Uh, but yeah. Actually, I, I, so I was gonna it's one say. One of those uh, games that gets easier, I think, once you're decent. Or, yeah, once you're, once you're good at the game. Once you have, once you have the, yeah, the, like, power deck out thing, which, as you said, it's one of those games that, um, yeah, it, it, if you don't, if you, uh, I think don't it just die. Drops too much stuff. Like, they could yeah. probably cut down the bomb drop by, like, one tenth, and throw <laughs> that shit at you in comparison. 
Right, right. Because I don't really agree with the fact that I'm just throwing like bombs out there every two seconds. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that. I could definitely agree on. They could probably cut down on the reliance, the need for bombs, and the amount of bombs they give you. Because that doesn't really seem like a you know. I don't know why his son even came and got rid of his death. I don't know either. <laughs> that oh, that okay. gauntlet of death was kind of unnecessary and, and a dick. Yeah. Which is just if I lose and I get well, I guess I don't have to do that. Probably have to go back every uh, all the way anyway. But right. yeah, these fucking bees are painted. When you only have the one laser. Right, right. I see what you're yeah, I see what you're saying, because well, yeah, you're right. Well, I don't know. They're small they're all they're all, they're pretty small bees. I mean they're they're the most bee-sized bees in the game. They are bees. <laughs> it's to be or to die. It's to die. Oh. Uh, to die by bee. <laughs> Sounds like a very poetic novel. Yes. I'm pretty sure. I'm so pretty sure. Sh went all this when he was to be or not to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be that'd be pretty intense. Uh, if Shakespeare... I would have to say the game should make it more obvious when you got hit. Mhm. Mm I mean, you lose a heart, but when you end up like like sometimes it's difficult to tell if I killed him or if he hit me. Because when he mm. hits you, he just dies. Since level complete, though, you did it. I kid out! Oh <laughs> my god! Wow. See, that's what I mean. Killed <laughs> five. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot. This is this is L. I have completed the game, I think. Yeah, I think so. Also, what's oh those are bombs that you're shooting. Okay, I was like, what's that? What's that orb thing? Okay, so yeah, it appears that that's probably all of the game. And of course, uh, they can't. Let me quickly reset it. Yeah, and we'll, we'll go ahead and beat the boss. Boss. Just to show you guys, though, he's not very difficult, and I don't really think he's the boss to this stage, considering he's, like, not very bee-themed. Oh yeah, yeah, also, they made a kind of cool logo, I guess. You're probably gonna see a few times, because I bet it's gonna break again. Hopefully we'll not. see. Nope. Oh, yeah, nice. Actually didn't. Cool. But yeah. This actually... Hmm? He's not that difficult unless he hits you. This is a big sense. Uh, but actually, he kind of reminds me of uh, the first boss in the Wind Waker. Not the only really difficult part of the bottom is those bullets. Compared right. to a really easy pattern to dodge. Uh, yeah, probably so. I think mainly the thing yeah, I'm noticing. Like no invincibility in this game. Yeah. That's unfortunate, but I was gonna say, I think the thing I'm, um, I don't think it's easy about him is he doesn't seem to have very much health. Yeah, that to me. I guess killed him by wiping my face into him. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, guess he didn't have any Okay. I was gonna say, I guess he doesn't have any invincibility frames either. But probably doesn't have any, but yeah. That's always unfortunate not having invincibility frames, because I was um actually recently playing a Super Nintendo game called uh, Eve or something, uh, Evo, and it really has that issue of literally giving you like no invincibility frames. I well, I think you have like one. I think you have like a millisecond. I don't know. Really? You have like a short knockback. But I was it's gonna say, awesome. as long as you take your time, it's really easy. Right. 